Hey tubes, there's a little update where we're at. I cleaned this up with the the first coat of glue and oils all together. Cleaned the holes out. And I uh, put another another coat on here to fill in the holes and uh, the gaps where these things met together. Even on the back here. I'm gonna square them off, make them all look like one plate, and even on the back side there. Gonna make them all look like one. So I'll probably give it one more coat after this, you know, because there's gonna be a few low spots. You see where the holes were. If I got any left over, maybe I'll just fill these in. Really, I don't have to, but if I had, like I say, if I had it mixed too much and have some left over, well, I'm happy the way it's coming out. So. Now what I gotta do is uh, sand down all this uh, epoxy and grind it and sculpt it and file it and try to make it look good. So let me do that and uh, we'll get back to you. Alright, I sculpted them down there. Actually look pretty good. I really don't uh, have any spots that I have to uh, fix up. Let's uh, throw it on here and see how it looks. That looks pretty good. I painted, I climbed the bottom there, but uh, it's snowing out right now. It's a little chilly, so. Alright, just gotta wait for my head mechanic to get over here. He's probably working on some of his stuff. He's got a lot of stuff to work on this winter, so. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll get back to you when he comes over. See you later. Hey tubes, here's uh, my task for the day. I'm gonna make, uh, this here's a gasket, I'm just gonna use this as a template. But I'm gonna I have to make uh, four manifold flanges. So I'm gonna make a manifold. And I'm using a piece of copper, quarter inch copper. And there's a reason for that, and I'll explain that to you later, but I'm gonna lay this out and uh, make four of them. Meanwhile, we got Mike. Say, hey, Mike. How you doing, dude? Mike is uh, making making some spaces over there. I don't know what he's uh, what he's going to put them on. Spaces. What are they? Cam spaces. Oh, that's right. The spaces cams out. So uh, we'll keep our eye on him. But uh, meanwhile, I'm going to concentrate on these. I'll lay them out and see what they look like. All right, I laid out four of them here, but uh, I think I'm just going to make one, and then as far as drilling the holes, I think I'll uh, use it as a guide so all the holes are the same. Alrighty, let's uh, let's make it. All right, we're almost done here. Just got to put some of these uh, end holes in. This copper's uh, drilling pretty good. Mike's over there. Mike's still working on his uh, bushings there or whatever. Alright. Let me finish up here and then I'll cut them in half. Use our saw here to cut. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Mike's over here making all kinds of noise. Making a racket, am I? Oh, man. You can't see that. Oh, uh, they can see that. Pretty good. Alright. Alright, I got these uh, rough cut here. Not too bad. And then uh, here's a couple I, I finished up. It came out pretty good. I'm happy. Mike's happy. They look a little gnarly, but uh, the inside hole, we got to ream out a little bit. But uh, let me finish the other ones. I'll put them on the engine and see what they look like. And here we go. They line up good and. Uh, I like the way they look and they're, they're flat, perfectly smooth, so. Alright, like I said, the reason I made them out of copper like that is because uh, I'm going to make the the intake manifold out of copper. You know? we That way we can solder everything together and uh, just buy the fittings instead of bending our pipe and everything. And then, uh, see the way it uh, go right on there. And then after everything's all together and everything, I'll, I'll probably do body work to it to make it all look like one piece and then we'll, we're going to paint it silver. 
so it looks like an intake manifold. But uh, that's what we're doing. I think that would be the easiest for us. We're not looking for work. We're just uh, trying to make things easier on ourselves. But these things, they, some of them look a little cattywampus, but we're, we're good with that. What are you doing over there, Mike? Making a crankshaft? Yeah. How are you making out? Almost done? That's coming out pretty well. A little bit more time. All right. That's cool. All right. I don't know how long this video is, but uh, we'll put something together and put it up for you. Keep you up to date. Alrighty.